Okay, it's playground time. I'm coming! I feel like 12 again. It's time this fucking volcano. This one? Okay. Try not to die on the way, Don. Oh my god! Hi, I am Pete. And I live, work and travel in my van, the Fat Lady. On my way, I explore the world and different ways of living. Together, we don't miss out any adventure. Join and be part of it. After being for a long time in the region of Antalya, I am heading into east of Turkey. East Turkey is quite different from West and South Turkey. It's not only way less touristic and is less populated, but the nature and the culture of the people is completely different. Most of the people are Kurdish and speak their own language. The conflict between Kurdish and Turkish people is very old and still present until today. The Turkish politics is discriminating Kurdish people until today and blames them for participating in terroristic activities. I'm not going to judge anybody here, because there are always two parties needed for a fight. But I can tell you that Kurdish people are super nice and super friendly and I feel always safe. Okay, enough driving, small break. I'm gonna eat a gözleme on the way. Mm, super tasty, with potato and cheese and fresh herbs. Super spicy, nice. Oh, I think I didn't tell you the final result of my cardan problem. So to explain it shortly, when I was the first time there, they fixed the joint on the cardan, but they didn't balance it well because they have to balance the whole cardan, but they balanced only half of it. And they balanced it and now it's running smoothly. The squeaking noise is gone, but I have a different one. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. It's only slightly and I cannot really tell what it is. I guess I have to wait until it's worse so I can say what it is. Yeah, what do you want? It's like an eight-year-old car with 270,000 kilometers. That lady gets old. Yeah, and driving an off-road is also... Yeah, it's, it puts some wearing on the mechanical parts, but it's fun. So I think that this point of my travels marks a point where I really leave the known and go into the unknown adventure. Facing the unknown is much more convenient in a company and so I meet my van life family again in the city of Konya. Hello, back again. Good morning. We are recovering from Yoki, striking with a coffee. Mm -hmm. Yo, bro. Yo. Okay, it's playground time. I have some company. Who are you? Peter. And let's go have some fun. It's a huge playground here. And it's also for free. Everything for free. Nobody here.
be like 12 again. Almost. <laughs> Next morning we left Konya to drive to a very special place. Its name is Meke Lake and it's kind of mind-blowing and surreal. Hang on, you will see what I mean in a second. Titus, where are we? What do you see? Volcano. Huge volcano. But where's the water? There's a little bit left. Yeah, it's like always disappointing when you look at the Google Maps pictures. You see like a super nice water, blue, crystal blue, and then you come here and it's this. But it's still nice. The shape is amazing. Good morning! It's a beautiful morning at the volcano. Breakfast is prepared. We're waiting for all to get together. And this is the volcano. What is happening here? Something. Cute. Yeah. Taking people's van apart? Yeah. Yeah, it's better. Sell it into pieces. <laughs> More money, less problem. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Bob? Good, good. Almost ready. Cool. We're making toast with the Tashan grill. You know Tashan grill? I guess it's this piece here. So it's something Turkish? Um, it's very popular in Turkey. Okay. No, just we went to, to bring the plate and it was like five minutes. So probably ah, he played okay. with the bowl. <laughs> no, mommy, I didn't. <laughs> As usual, we get visitors from the nearby villages that are very curious who we are and what we are doing, but always in a respectful and friendly way. <laughs> I think these boys had the first time in their life a drone in their hands and was fascinating for them. Oh, now you're fancy van lifer. Yeah. Life is hard. That's how you work in van life. Frenchy, yeah. tell us what are we doing? Let's climb this fucking volcano. This one? Yeah. Okay. Try not to die on the way, Don. Okay. What if it breaks out? Mm, my drone will save me. Oh, okay.
80% of the energy goes just in loose rocks. Bob, what is your comment on this? Oh, I'm missing four wheel drive. Mm. And the truck is too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> So fun! <laughs> How do you stop it here? Got no idea. running with a dog and done so this is the rest of the water a little bit it's super salty it also has a strong smell and apparently the turkish boys that we met they said it was like five years ago that this was full of water but it's still amazing it's an amazing place As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with your friends. I want to say a huge thank you for your big support lately. So thank you. Every penny goes into better videos for you guys. A special thanks goes to my patrons that constantly support me on this journey. Thank you. Yo bros, don't miss out next episode. We are going to the one of the saltiest lakes in the world and relax in the hot springs. Everything for free.